But as you can see, there's a lot of movement. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Shamara. Please subscribe, like, right there. Okay? Okay. So I have kind of a first impressions tutorial video for you guys on a product that I've been wanting to try out for so long. I've seen so many reviews, so many first impressions, how-tos, tutorials, everything. And I was like, hmm, no blow dry, huh? Hmm, y'all know how I like my hair to be straight. I like to be swinging it and everything. So hopefully we can achieve that with less damage. Not that I did get damage from blow drying, but this is supposed to be the safer alternative. So without further ado guys, let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so I have the Ion Steam Pro straightener for you guys and it just it's basically it's what it is. It's a steam straightener. So what this does is that it straightens your hair and it also produces steam. The steam is supposed to lock in the moisture, put moisture back into your hair. And this is supposed to be a much safer and healthier way as opposed to blow drying because you know blow drying you blow your hair out with hot air, hot or warm air, and it dries your hair out to like no extent. So this one actually puts the moisture back into your hair and it also strains as well. The only concern I have with this is that not only does it supposed to moisturize your hair, but it's supposed to straighten and it says you can do it with wet hair, but can't you get heat damage from that though? I guess we're going to find out because nobody got time to be waiting for my hair to dry, detangle, and then try to do this. So I was like, let me just try it on not soaking wet hair, but like, eh, semi-soaking wet hair, you know? And I got the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. So that's what I got. And I'm only using this because it works and it smells amazing. So once that is in, we're just going to comb it through to distribute it evenly. Take our chi, soak infusion. We're going to have to cut all through, like so. And then once again, we're just going to comb. And then we're going to take a section. And then put this section up. So this is the part where the steam comes from. So, to make things simple for y'all, if y'all are straightening your hair on this side, you have to hold the brush so the steam hits your hair first as opposed to the bristles. So it has to be like that with the steam pro facing, but it has to be that way. Okay? Okay. Um, I also have it on 190 degrees Celsius. I put it on Celsius just because I want to see which is the best setting for my hair. I'm not trying to go straight to 475 and burn the life out of me. So we're starting at 190. So we're just gonna do it here. I smell, <laughs> my hair is smoking. I hear the sizzling, oh my God. The sizzling is getting to me. Okay, we're gonna try that again. So the sizzling is the part that's getting to me. I don't think. <laughs> oh my god, this is. I can't. I'm scared. It's almost there. Alright, so it looks like I could turn it up just a little bit. So to do that, you press the steam button and then you just press the up button and we're just going to take it up to 210 and then it's going to lock itself back into place. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we can go over one more time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright guys, so I am officially done with my hair. It took me about 45 minutes, I would say. But as you can see, there's a lot of movement. It, it has a lot of movement to it, but it's not as voluminous as it would be if I would have blow dried it, which would be like, whew. Um, Overall, it looks pretty good. It's super silky, what I like. That's what I like, look at that. It looks pretty good. My concerns, y'all. My concerns. The sizzling. I know it's because my hair was wet. I also do know that it's because of the heat protectant that I use. The heat protectant is just taking effect. But I had to do about three to four passes on my entire length of hair just to get it like this. Y'all know that when I straighten my hair, I only like to go about two to three times on my roots and one time throughout my whole length of hair. And that's when my hair is dry. So the fact that I had to go over three or four times while my hair is wet on my whole head. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. I'm not too keen on doing that just because your hair is more prone to damages that way. Um, also, I got burned. My scalp got burned. My fingers got burned. My whole hand got burned, y'all. Y'all do not hold this thing in the right spot. So basically, you have to hold it like this through hair. You have to hold it here. Not here, which is what I was doing. Because the steam would come from here and it would come back that way and it would burn you. So I got burned multiple times. My scalp got burned multiple times. It was just it was too much for my life. I'm also not too keen on the fact that my roots it's really hard to get them just because it's so bulky right here so you can't really get to your roots the way that you want to so they're quite they're quite poofy right now and they're probably still a little damp so guys those are pretty much my concerns when using this so I think from now on I would use it with dry hair because I'm not looking forward to finding out if my hair is Heat damage because I did it wet. It says you can do it while your hair is wet. It's best to do it while your hair is wet. But it took me three to four passes to do it and I'm not looking forward to heat damage. On that note, so be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and make sure you hit the post notifications button so that way you guys can get notified. So I will be doing a reverting back from straight to curly because of this video, this thing right here. Be on the lookout for that. We're going to see if this hair reverts because if it don't, we're going to have some issues. I will see you guys in my next one and have a wonderful day. <laughs>